is in the middle of the mayhem of a third Super Bowl title overall, Paul, for this Kansas City Chiefs franchise. That is right, my friend, and what a game it was. A game for the ages, and as you can see behind me, the aftermath still continues, and in many cases, the celebration it still continues. And as you mentioned, what a game with the Chiefs coming back on the last and, and winning it virtually on the last second against the Eagles. And one thing's for sure, it certainly solidifies the legacy of Mahomes, a quarterback, as you mentioned, and of course, Kelsey, a tight end. And afterward, Kelsey had some words for all the naysayers. Man, one of y'all said the Chiefs were going to take it home this year. Not a single one. MV Pat, you can't say enough about what this guy means to Kansas City and this team. Feel it, and on top of that, next time the Chiefs say something, put some respect on our name. I, I told y'all before the season, we got we got Coach Andy Reid, we got guys like Travis Kelsey, Chris Woo! Jones, Frank Clark. We're gonna be the Kansas City Chiefs. At the end of the day, we're gonna be the Kansas City Chiefs, and we're gonna we're gonna celebrate this right here, baby. Uh, we're gonna celebrate this uh, the, the right way. <laughs> Hey, and the right way is celebrating right here in the crazy AZ. Speaking of AZ, there's something about Super Bowls here in Arizona that turn out quite darn well. Remember back in 2015 when Brady came back and the Patriots ended up beating the Seahawks in a game that ended in the last second, and boom, fast forward to 2023 on that very field once again that you see behind me, and the Chiefs, they come back, they beat the Eagles in a game that also came down to the final seconds. What a matchup, what a game, what a Super Bowl. Reporting live from Glendale here at the Super Bowl in 2023, I'm Paul C. Kala, News 4 Tucson. Back to you, David. Hey, thanks a lot, Paul. You know, some great Arizona connections to this Super Bowl. We talked about Sabino football's Matt Bushman, U of A grad Rick Bertholder, the Chiefs head trainer.